The Ukrainian armed forces may have used British long-range Storm Shadow missiles for strikes against Russia for the first time, Russian Z channels claim. Missiles with a range of up to 300 kilometers, which Ukraine has been receiving since 2023 but can only use in combat operations on its territory, were shot down over the village of Kamensk Shaktinsky in the Rostov region, Romanov Light Telegram Channel wrote. It is also reported on the alleged destruction of Storm Shadow. Romanov Light suggested that the authorities will not officially confirm the use of British missiles so as not to devalue Vladimir Putin's red lines once again. Trugolnik, the other telegram channel, also confirmed destruction of storm shadows over Rostov. But then the channel corrected its reports. The channel writes that Ukrainian-made Neptune missiles, which had previously been used to strike the area around the Crimean Bridge, as well as oil depots in the Krasnodar territory, were shot down over Kamensk Shaktinsky. Ukraine last week handed over to Western countries a list of possible targets for strikes deep into Russia which could use either Storm Shadow or American ATACMS missiles, whose range for the Ukrainian armed forces is currently limited to a radius of 165 kilometers. According to Reuters sources, the list included command centers, fuel and weapons depots, as well as places where Russian army personnel are contracted. According to the American Institute for the Study of War, in the event of a positive decision for Kiev, at least 245 Russian military facilities, as well as nine large cities with a total population of almost 5 million people, could be in the zone of destruction of Ukrainian strikes. Among them are 2 million plus cities. Rostov-on-Don, population 1.14 million people, and Voronezh, 1.46 million. However, so far, no decision has been made on any long-range strikes. On September the 16th, U.S. State Department spokesman Matthew Miller, summing up the meeting between President Joe Biden and British Prime Minister Keir Starmer, said that the United States is not yet ready to lift restrictions on Ukraine's use of long-range weapons to strike Russian targets. Until now, the Storm Shadow missiles have been limited to Russian targets operating inside Ukraine as well as in occupied Crimea. The missiles were likely used in the largest Ukrainian attack on the headquarters of the Russia's Black Sea Fleet last year at Sevastopol. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky told the Summit for the Future at the United Nations Monday that his country supports efforts to keep all nations united, safe and strictly adhere to the UN Charter. We are now preparing for the secondary summit moving forward with our partners, Zelensky said. We are working on food security, energy security, and holding Russia accountable for its terror. The Pact for the Future, approved by the General Assembly on Sunday, aims to meet the challenges of the 21st century and unite the world's divided nations to move quickly to implement the agreement's 56 actions. Russia proposed an amendment that would have significantly watered down the agreement. Only six countries supported Russia Iran, Belarus, North Korea, Nicaragua, Sudan and Syria. Fifteen countries abstained. Putin has stolen much already, but he will never steal the world's future, Zelensky said. It's important that the world is working to develop a shared vision for the best future for humanity. As soon as such collective efforts begin, true interests are always revealed. Ukraine supports efforts to keep all nations united, safe and strictly adhere to the UN Charter. This time during the work on the Pact for the Future the same small group of seven accomplices led by Russia has once again acted destructively, always opposing any global initiatives that strengthen the effectiveness of the UN Charter. We are now preparing for the Second Peace Summit, moving forward with our partners step by step according to the peace formula. And we are working on food security, energy security, and holding Russia accountable for its terror. We will address all other points of the peace formula, including the release of prisoners. 
the restoration of territorial integrity and more. And we are preparing a document to present at the second peace summit. I invite all leaders nations to continue supporting our joint efforts for a just and peaceful future. Putin has stolen much already, but he will never steal the world's future, I'm sure. I thank 